Hi friends, it's story time. It's online story time with the Red Bank Public Library. And I'm Miss Sira, and I'm glad that you're here. Let's start by singing a song. Hey, it's landing on a mystery today. So since it's nice and sunny outside, I wanna pretend like we're out on a boat in the river. We're gonna do row, row, row your boat. Here we go, get your oars. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. One more time. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! I just learned that new little part to the song. I thought it was fun. And... We're reading stories about animals today, so that was a good one. And I have a good book for you. This is called The Giant Jumperee by Julia Donaldson and Helen Oxenberry. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to hold it so you can see all the pictures because they're really cute. It says, Rabbit was hopping home one day when he heard a loud voice coming from inside his burrow. That's this hole right here. I'm the giant jumperee and I'm as scary as can be. Hmm. Help, help, cried Rabbit. What's the matter, Rabbit, asked Cat. There's a giant jumperee in my burrow, said Rabbit. Don't worry, said Cat. I'll slink inside and pounce on him. Meow. So Cat slunk up to the burrow, but just as she was about to slink inside, she heard a loud voice. I'm the giant jumperee and I'll squash you like a flea. <gasps> help, help, meowed Cat. What's the matter, Cat, asked Bear. There's a giant jumperee in Rabbit's burrow. Don't worry, said Bear. I'll put my big furry paw inside and knock him down. So Bear swaggered up to the burrow, but just as he put his big furry paw inside, he heard a voice. I'm the giant jumperee and I'll sting you like a bee. Whoa, help, help bellowed Bear. What's the matter, Bear? asked Elephant. There's a giant jumperee in Rabbit's burrow, said Bear. Don't worry, said Elephant. I'll wrap my trunk around him and toss him away. Look at this. So Elephant stomped up to the burrow but just as he put his long gray trunk inside, he heard a loud voice. I'm the giant jumperee and I'm taller than a tree. <gasps> help, help, trumpeted Elephant. What's the matter, Elephant? asked Mama Frog. There's a giant jumperee in Rabbit's burrow, said Elephant. Don't worry, said Mama Frog. I'll tell him to come out. Do you see Mrs. Frog up there? No, no, don't do that, said all the other animals. He's as scary as can be, said Rabbit. He can squash you like a flea, said Cat. He can sting like a bee, said Bear. And he's taller than a tree, said Elephant. But Mama Frog took no notice of them. Here she is. She jumped up to the burrow. I'm the giant jumperee and you're terrified of me, came the loud voice. The other animals backed away, but Mama Frog wasn't scared. Come on out, giant jumperee, she said. You're the one we want to see. So I'm counting up to three. One, two, three. And out jumped baby frog. <laughs> Hello, 
Hello, Mama. I'm the Giant Jumperee. And you're coming home for tea, said Mama Frog. All the other animals are cracking up. They can't believe that little frog scared them. Oh, and they get to go too. Looks like they're gonna go have a tea party. The end. That's cute. That little tiny frog scared all those big animals. Oh, I have a good song for us to sing. We sang it the other day. It's about another animal. It's about a tiger. So it goes like this. <clears throat> I have to clear my throat. <clears> throat> okay. A tiger is an animal that walks around like a great, big, beautiful cat. He's orange and black with lots of stripes. So what do you think of that? Ready? Here we go. Well, he is big. Get big. And he has teeth. He's got a roar. You guys, roar. And he has claws down underneath. And he has stripes. Can you make some stripes? And a big tail, too. A big tail, too. He's my favorite animal in the zoo. We're going to do that part again. Well, he is big. Get big. And he has teeth. Let's see your teeth. He's got a roar. Everybody, roar. And he has claws down underneath. And he has stripes. Make your stripes. And a big tail, too. A big tail, too. He's my favorite animal in the zoo. How about you? Ba doop boop. That's our tiger song. We're doing animals today. So I have another great book. This one is called Night Animals. You know that there's some animals that sleep in the day and come out at night? I bet you knew that. Let's think of one. I'm going to see if you can guess who I am. Woo! An owl. That's one night animal. Let's see what we see in this book. This story is by Gianna Marino. And the pictures are mostly in black and white because it's happening at night. See the eyeballs? Let me find the first page. Okay, it's a skunk and a possum. And skunk says, hey, possum, what are you doing in there? Shh, said possum, I'm hiding. What are we hiding from, said skunk. Night animals, now keep quiet. Can you move over? said Squirrel. Oh, let's find somewhere else, said Possum. <sighs> oh! Oh! <gasps> Did you hear something? said Skunk. Are you trying to scare me? said Possum. <clears throat> oh! Help me! Help you? You're a wolf, cried Skunk. And can you see what po <laughs> what he did? Do you know skunks? Meow, are stinky when they get scared. And you can see in the picture he went because he was scared, and his stink went right in Possum's face. And he's going, Ugh. The wolf said, but something's following me. What is it? Said Skunk. Possum is still like this. Uh. It's big and hairy with long, sharp claws. Possum said, I'm not here. What do you think this is? Oh, 
you guys got to help me. Something huge is coming. What can be bigger than a bear? Yelled the wolf. Why is the sky getting darker? Said Skunk. Night animal, run, hide. They're running. And look up here. Can you tell what it is? It's saying, stop. What are you so scared of? We're scared of night animals. Can you tell this is a bat? A bat is another night animal. But you are night animals, said the bat. Oh, said everybody. The bear and the wolf and the possum and the skunk are night animals. But look what's happening over here on the edge of the page. It's a tent. And inside somebody said, did you hear something? Here comes some people out of the tent. This says click. They turned on their flashlight. And what did they see? And what did the animals see? And everybody said, run, 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 run. And the skunk said, Pfft. and his little stink went right in the possum's face again. And he was going, oh no. Everybody's running. And possum is falling over. And up in the trees, somebody sang, Woo, Who sang that? Another night animal? Ow. The end. All right, good job listening to my animal stories today. We're going to do some fun songs right now. I think we're going to do um, the little wheels on the bus. Are there any animals on the bus? Not today. Oh, it sounds so quiet. Let's see. Joel, can you fix it? There we go. Wheels on the bus go round and round. All through the town. Whoa! Gotta catch up to that bus. Let's see. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish. Swish, swish, swish. Swish, swish, swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish. All through the town. I forget what's next. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep.
we're gonna get a little moving in and do some freeze dance. Ready? Let's play the party freeze game. You need to stand up. When I say freeze, practice your freezing. everybody. I have helpers here at home. My daughter Maya is doing the video camera. My daughter Julia is doing the computer and the music. My husband is dancing right over there and trying to be funny. So I'm glad that you come to our house to do online story time because we have a good time. I just want to tell you about our rad challenge. It is to make a recipe. And I already saw somebody made some guacamole. Somebody made some Rice Krispie treats. Someone even made sushi. That was kind of a big kid who did that, but it looks delicious. So show me what you made and I'll enter you to win a prize. All right, guys, have a great day and we'll see you next time.